Clients worldwide have been asking me repeatedly more and more and more about how should they frame a portfolio with climate change considerations. And it was very clear to me that this is becoming a, a, a dominant theme in, with more and more of our investors. And I wasn't prepared to answer many of those questions at that moment. And it was very clear to me that I needed to focus on it. I needed to get BlackRock to focus on it. And from the period of time, really from September 1st through the end of the year, we, we spent a great deal of time focusing on it. I spent a great deal of time talking to insurance company CEOs. I talked to the CEOs of the housing companies of America, you know, of, uh, and I talked to some different mayors. Uh, and I had conversations worldwide related to the impact. And it was very clear to me, whether it's 10% more of our clients or 20% of our clients, it was very clear to me that more and more clients are now thinking about how should they invest. And it was very clear to me the whole issue of climate change is, a, is really related to the, the, whether it's certainties of science or the uncertainties of science, and I'm not a scientist, but more and more, more and more people are believing in some form of the science, if not all the science. Mm. And it was, and you know, by being in the capital markets now for 44 years, it's very clear we in the capital markets we bring risks forward. You know, we don't wait until the risk is in front of us. There are times that happens, and that was a fi great financial crisis. But in most cases, we navigate the risk, and through that process, we mitigate most risks. Um, and, and so the process of having more and more clients focusing on these issues it was very clear to me that, that more, there's a greater belief of the science, and as a result of that now, we should not avoid the conversation about climate change because climate change is now becoming an investment risk. And no differently as investors focus on well, yield curve or whatever forms of risk we have, it was very clear to me now we need to now bring forward better risk tools to navigate risk. And this is a component of the letter was asking more, more companies to be more self-reporting on things like SASB and TCFD. Um, so we have better clarity and understanding how each company is navigating these issues. And I'm not here to tell you these are the best tools. What we're suggesting now, there are good tools now and hopefully we have better tools. And, and I do believe we're on this long path. And in 2019, most of the sustainable funds outperformed regular funds. Now you could, Argue that's a big giant momentum trade. You had a lot of inflows, I've seen. In the yeah, we've had we had record inflows, and we we, we have particularly into ESG things. Record so inflows, no record inflows in ESG. Yeah. And so, a part of the announcement we announced, you know, every one of our products is going to have some form of a sustainable uh, counterpart, and so we could bring this forward and have more investors a part of this dialogue. 